Hi guys, we're back again. We're continuing our kids nail series. Now Valentine's is coming along soon and we all know how young girls have crushes and I figured I'd make a cute little nail design for Valentine's. It's going to be a heart and I'm using water base acrylic paints I've already base coated this nail. I'm coming along with a bright magenta pink. I'm going to create a heart. I'm holding it sideways because I won't be able to do it if I hold it where you could see it perfect. I'm sorry. So we're starting our heart. It's like a teardrop one way, then we connect it the other way. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like perfect hearts. Now, <clears throat> the brushes that I'm using are from my local craft store or beauty supply. If you don't have what I have, you can substitute with toothpicks, pens for dotters, and um, stuff like that. Now, around the heart, I want to create dots to give it a lacy look. Normally, I wouldn't go back into the paint. I would go dot, 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 dot until I ran out. But I want it to look like lace, so I want it to all be consistent. So for every dot, I am going back into my paint. If I was to go on doing this, it would just the dots would get just smaller and smaller. <clears throat> okay. Now, in this heart, I have intentions of putting an X and an O for hug and kiss, but in your case, you can put the initials of somebody you have a crush on <clears throat> or someone you're in love with. That was quick and easy. Now with my liner brush, I'm just going to take some black. I'm going to write the word or the letter X and an O. Now when I write, I am not pushing hard on the brush, so that way I can get the thinnest line. As you can see. Now with the daughter brush, I'm just going to create little hearts around the rest of the nail. So it's going to be a little dot. I'm going to pull it on the opposite side and make a little dot and pull. I'll make a few of these. I'm just going to come and connect that one a little bit better. Oops, I went over. That's okay. I'll come in with another brush. 
and just clean it up. Let me make sure I dry that off a little bit more. Not a problem if you make a mistake, as you could see. You can always come back and clean it. I'm glad that it made a little mistake. <clears throat> it gives me a chance to show you how I resolve it. So I have a little bit of the pink on the white dot. No problem. Pick up some more white. And fix that. Now I'll go back to my daughter and pick up where I left off. And that's just perfectly fine. There you go. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Now, in doing these nail designs on yourself, I will tell you <coughs> to try and stay away from the cuticle area of your nail. You're not supposed to get any um, color really on the cuticle. It's not part of the nail. And if you have trouble staying away from it, it's best to start from the center. And I'll show you on a sample. I think that's good for right now. Maybe I'll throw a few little white hearts in there just to break it up. But to keep your um, work neat on your nails, it's pretty easy. I'm going to come in with a few little dots in this area. Throw a few down here. Just so it all kind of matches <clears throat> and that's it um, I'm going to take a nail and I'm just going to randomly with whatever color I have here which is um, the pink magenta I'm going to show you if you're going to start painting your nails don't start at the tip, right at the skin. Start in the middle, push your color up away from the nail, the edge of the nail, the cuticle area. And on the sides, stay only on the actual nail. Okay. Remember, start away because the brush is full of color and just slide it up and drag down. Try not to do this repetitive motion because what happens is the nail starts to get sticky and gummy and you just want to have nice clean strokes. Alright, so remember your brush is full of polish or paint. Come here to the middle and push it up, which will release a lot of the paint in the middle. Just drag it down. I hope this has been helpful. <clears throat> and you get to try it. And remember, you can make mistakes, but they're easy to fix, especially when they're water-based products. And you come along when you're done, and you put a clear top coat on it to seal and protect your nails. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. You share with your friends, subscribe, rate it, leave questions and comments, and happy Valentine's.